हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दीज टू प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच सेज दैट लोकेट द सेंट्राइड एक्स बार ऑफ द एरिया एंड वाई बार ऑफ द एरिया सो फॉर दैट वी विल डिफाइन अ डिफरेंशियल स्ट्रिप और डिफरेंशियल एरिया सो लेट्स से दैट दिस इज द डिफरेंशियल एरिया and now if we write the x bar equation so x bar equation from chapter 9 is equal to the integration of x tilde times da divided by da integration so we need to define da right so this is the that differential strip which defines our da so we can write that that differential area is equal to this height so this height is equal to this is equal to y since at this particular point the height will be equal to some value of y and then it has some width so its width or thickness is dx so da is y times dx and y is given as a function of x right so we can write that da equals to b uh, h divided by b square into x square dx so now we have two integrals here so i will find these two integrals uh, one by one right so first we will find this da so this integral of da will be equal to so this is this is da so we will write that this is h divided by b square x square dx and this will give us the area of the this total area so we need to add up all the areas or the differential strip areas from x equals to 0 until x equals to b so the integration is from x equals to 0 until x equals to b so this will cancel out so we will be left with area so total area is equal to these are constants so we can write this is h divided by b square and the integration of x square will be x to the power 3 divided by 3 and this is from 0 to b so this is h b cube if we put these limits divided by 3 b square minus 0 if i put x equals to 0 so whole thing will become 0 so we will be left with this so this b square will cancel out so that blue shaded area is equal to b h divided by 3 so now we know the total area similarly we can find this integral that is x tilde da now x tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential area from the y axis so this length this length is x tilde so as we know that this differential strip is located at some distance x from the origin so we can say that x tilde is also located at a distance x from the y axis so we can replace this x tilde by x and da is equal to this thing so we will write it as h divided by b square into x square dx and this is the integration and if we multiply this x so it will become x to the power 3 and again the integration is with respect to x so we need to integrate it from 0 to b since the x limits are from 0 to b so this is h divided by b square and integral of x cube is x to the power 4 divided by 4 and this is from 0 to b so if we put these limits this is h divided by b square b to the power 4 divided by 4 minus 0 and this b square will cancel out so we will be left with b square so this is b square so this is h b square divided by 4 so now if this is our equation 1 so we can write that x bar is equal to so this integral is equal to h b square divided by 4 so h b square divided by 
and this integral dA is equal to bH divided by 3 or we can say H b divided by 3. So now this H will cancel out and 1 b will cancel out. So we are left with b divided by 4 divided by 1 divided by 3. So we can say that x bar is equal to 3b divided by 4 or we can say 3 divided by 4b. Similarly, we can find uh, y bar. So for y bar, the equation is y bar is equal to uh, y tilde dA and divided by the integral of that dA. So now we know this, this integral of dA, we need to find this integral. So we will write that um, integral of y tilde dA is equal to so now y tilde is again the location of this centroid of this differential area from the x-axis. So this is this distance is y tilde. So this y tilde will be equal to uh, half of the height of this differential strip. So this, this will be equal to y divided by 2. Since this centroid of this differential area is located at its geometric center. So this y tilde is y divided by 2. So we will write that this is y divided by 2 and similarly dA is y dx. So I will write y dx like this and it will become y square and y is equal to this thing. So y square will be equal to h square divided by b to the power 4 x to the power 4. So this is y square. So we can write this 1 divided by 2 outside. So this is 1 divided by 2 y square. Now the y square is, we can add this is 1 divided by 2 and the integral is from 0 to b, remember. So this is from 0 to b and y square equals to this thing. So this is h square. We need to take square of this. So this is uh, h square divided by b to the power 4 and x to the power 4 dx. So now we can write that this is 1, this h square and b to the power 4 is common. So we can write that h square divided by 2 b to the power 4 and integral of x to the power 4 is x to the power 5 divided by 5 and it is from 0 to b. So h square divided by 2 b to the power 4 and if we put these limits, so this is b to the power 5 divided by 5 minus 0. So if we put this x equals to 0, so everything will become 0. So this b to the power 4 will cancel out. So we'll be left with 1b. So this is equal to h square b divided by 2 into 5 is 10. So now in that equation 2, y bar is equal to this integral. This integral, so that is h square b divided by 10 divided by this area. So this area is b h divided by 3. So b will cancel out. 1 h will cancel out. So this will be 3 divided by 10 h. So this is the y bar. So we can say that um, x bar is 3 by 4 b and y bar is 3 divided by 10 h. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Statics.